everyone, welcome to my channel, Rose Review, and today I have not one, but I have two wantables. So today I do have two wantable boxes. I will be filming them separate just to kind of keep them apart, <laughs> but I will um, have both those videos relatively within a few days of each other. Um, I am so excited. I got my, I think it's a patio edition it's called, and then I just got my regular style edit. So I am super excited. I love wantables. Uh, some of their prices do tend to be a little on the higher side, um, but I do enjoy this box and I can't wait to dig in. If you know nothing about Wannables, it is a clothing subscription box. You have a $20 styling fee, whatever you buy, that $20 goes for that. If you don't buy anything, then you forfeit the styling fee. So with that being said, I'm gonna just open this first bundle. It always comes with a return envelope. So this is very important. Um, this you're gonna put everything in and to send it back. Okay, this is my perfect patio edit. So with Wantables, they have just a regular style edit. They have an active style edit, and then they have a bunch of themed edits. The last one I received, it was only a couple weeks ago. I picked that one too, and it was another edit. Um, that I had chosen. So far, I think I've liked my normal style edit better than the themed ones, but we'll see, maybe this will change my mind. Um, it's time for some fun in the sun. This limited time edit is all about patio ready pieces that fit, flatter, and make you feel beautiful inside and out. Whether you're saying cheers to a few friends, firing up a grill, or heading from brunch to date night. I hope you love your personalized summer outfits. Have a blast, try everything on, and don't forget to let me know what you think. And my stylist is Corey. So the first thing I see, and I love the wash of these, are these shorts in this like, I don't know, faded, wash color and they are distressed on the front and I like the bottoms here. Oh my god, these are super cute. Looks like they have a nice length. They are a mid-rise so it's not a high rise. I like that. Oh, I'm super excited. I like these a lot. Let's see what these say. These are the Vigros. Big, big os. I don't know how to say it. Marley deconstructed cuffed shorts in light wash. Ooh, and they are $48. So that's not too bad. I cannot wait to try these on and see how they fit. I'm hoping, I love that, that wash. So that's the first item. And I see something a little familiar. I see another pair of shorts and it has that cut off bottom. Ooh, I like the pockets on this. These front pockets, really super cute. And here's the backs. These are the Marley cargo shorts in navy. And this is like a, almost like a charcoal gray navy almost um, color. So these are really cute as well. And are they the same price? They are, they are $48. Oh, and I didn't know I did this. Um, <laughs> I guess it says I requested it on May 10th. So these three items here show hearts and I guess I requested those three and the rest were sent by the stylist or picked out by the stylist. So that's interesting. Okay, and here I have, um, I have this dress, 
colors are really cute. I love the pinks and the, like there's a gold tones. And here's the back. It has the orange. Um, I don't know about these sleeves. I think they might be a bit much. I wish they didn't have this like roughly sleeve maybe. I don't know, we'll see. This could be really cute, a cute, fun summer dress. It all depends on how and where this bow sits. So have to try that on. That is the Drew Sammy dress in sunset stripes and it is $88. Oof. $88 might be a little more than I wanna pay, but I will definitely try it on. Next thing we have here, oh, it's very long, is this long, kind of like a muscle tee dress, very long. I have a hard time with the long, but being 5'3", a lot of times they don't fit me. I know there was a dress in last box, the last Wantables that I really kind of wish I would have kept because it was super cute. It was just a little longer. And if the price was just a little less, I probably would have. But this one is Z Supply. I like that brand, it's a good brand. Z Supply, 20 notch front dress in black and that is $69. Next thing. Cute. I like this. And look at these fun colors. It is a kimono in these gorgeous colors, these blues and teals, and I love the pop of yellow. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Here's the bottom. Almost looks like little dancing pineapples. <laughs> but that is so cute. I like this a lot. And that is, the brand is Echo, and it's the Flora Duster in Yellow Glow, and that is $49. And I guess here is another item that I requested, is just a black tank top. I kind of need just a plain black tank top for a couple outfits that I have. And I like how this one has that kind of V neck in the front and the back. I also like how the straps, they're not spaghetti straps. So I like that a lot. And that is the Gentle Fawn Robin Tank in black and it is $40. And here's the last thing. Supply and demand, and it is a like a muscle type tank. And I am not a huge fan of this print. I don't know why. Some florals I don't mind and some I do. And this one I'm just not loving. I don't, yeah, I don't know why. It's just not my favorite print. It does have this cute tie here. It does look a little see-through, so we'll have to see about that. I don't know if I'll have to wear anything underneath, but yeah, have to try that on. That is Supply and Demand Sleeveless Floral Side Tie Top Off in, it says white, and it's $54. So there we have it. Those are my seven items. The ones I like best are the ones I requested, which is kind of funny, um, except for the kimono. I really like that. So I will go try these on and I will be back. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the black tank top and this kimono, which I am so in love with both of these pieces. I actually am in love with this outfit. It is so casual. It's perfect for the weekend. Run to the beach, run to the stores, go to a picnic, go to the theme parks. Like this really is just anything and any time. 
I love it. I can use the kimono for work. I could actually wear the tank top to work as well. I might be a little more conservative and put something underneath a little tank top or put a little something. So maybe I'm not showing as much on the top, but that's just for work. Um, so yeah, and these shorts are so comfortable. Oh my God, I love these shorts. They are just to die for comfortable. And I'm going to take the kimono off so I can show you guys the shorts here. And they really are a nice length. They have really nice deep pockets. They are like a stretch material. So they aren't like that stiff jean material. And yeah, I'm just really comfortable. Here's the backs and here's the back of the shirt. This tank is 100% staying. I love it so much. Um, I also really like these shorts and this kimono. So, so far I have three items I'm already in love with and I'm going to try the other shorts on that are the same brand, just a little different style. So I will be right back. Okay guys, here's the other pair of shorts, which I am, I think even more in love with these shorts than the other pair. These are so comfortable. And like I said, they got like a little stretch to them. Um, I feel like I can move. They're very lightweight, very comfortable. The length to me is perfect. Here's the backs. Um, so yeah, I just love these. I probably wouldn't pair them with this tank top um, just because the dark on the dark, but I just had it on, so I figured, hey, why not? <laughs> so let me go ahead and there's another shirt. I'm just gonna leave these shorts on and try that on. Okay guys, here's this top. The length is okay. Um, yeah, I feel it's okay. It's a little kind of short, which is just a tad bit longer and it kind of pulls funny. So it's not tight, but it pulls funny when you move. It doesn't flow right. I don't know how to explain it. It's just very constricting almost, which is weird because like I said, it's not tight. So anyhow, um, I the pattern just isn't my thing. I do not like the pattern. I don't mind this side bow here. I think it's actually kind of cute. I think it sits in a really nice spot. So it doesn't like, cause sometimes when they're in the middle here, it just makes it protrude out and it looks funny and it adds weight to our, to my middle area here. And I don't love that, but this is actually really cute. Um, I like the, the wide sleeve and I, the neckline is nice. So here's the back of this. Again, see, it, it just pulls funny. So it doesn't, it just doesn't sit nice. I don't know how else to say. Oh, God. Yeah, it just pulls and sits funny. So yeah, when you move, it doesn't move the right way. Like, I don't know. Anyhow. Okay, so now I have two dresses that I'm going to try on and I will be back. Okay, guys, here's this dress. Um, it is a bit much for me. I, I really like the pattern of the dress. I just, this is too much. I wish these sleeves weren't here. I, yeah, it's too much. I think it's way too much. But I do like the length of this dress. Um, the bow where it sits is at a good spot for me. Um, I like the flow of the dress. It does feel really nice on. Here's the back. Here's the back. And like I said, I think it would be cute. It's just too much going on. There's fluff here and the bow here and the pattern and then these sleeves. 
and is just too much for me. So you guys can let me know what you think. Just maybe. See, can't you picture it without these sleeves? Look how much better that would have looked, right? If it wasn't for this just extra poof. It would have just been so much better. So this dress is going to be a no. I have one more item to try on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the last dress. This is like a, kind of reminds me of a jersey t-shirt dress. It does have the slits on both sides, which I do like. I just kind of paired them with a wedge heel. I really like this dress and I didn't think I was going to. I think this is really actually very cute. I think it's flattering. So yeah, I think it's really cute. I think it's very flattering. It's really comfortable, extremely comfortable. I also could wear it with a pair of flats and I think the length would be just fine for that. Like this would be a great cover up to go to the beach. So if you are laying on the beach, you wanna to go to the restroom or go to a restaurant, throw this on top and it would be easy to put in a bag to just throw on. You could also, for nighttime, throw a little jacket over it, dress it up a little bit, maybe put on a necklace, um, either a long necklace or maybe a choker, depending on your style, and dress it up some. So, wow, I am really impressed with this box and I didn't think I was going to be. So, I don't know guys, I just can't decide, I can't pick. It's there's so many great things in this box that I don't want to see go back. So somehow I got to make it work where they find their way in my closet instead of in a box. <laughs> I'm going to change for the wrap up and I'll be back. Hi guys, I am back for the recap. I do want to say, um, I don't exactly know what happened, but when I went to edit the video, I noticed that the recap was gone. Thankfully, I caught it right away and it was before I sent the items back. If you're wondering why maybe I look a little different, that is why. <laughs> so here we go. This is the, this is the Patio Perfect Edit. Um, this shirt right here, it's not my style and I just don't love the pattern. I think it's the colors maybe, I don't know. And I do like bright, bold colors, but for some reason it's just not working here for me. So then I have this kimono that I absolutely love. It is $50 though, so I'm not sure. I'm thinking about that. I have the black tank top, which I am definitely keeping. The shorts, which I love these shorts, but I am trying to lose weight and they fit so perfect. I would hate to buy these perfect shorts and then lose weight and then not be able to wear them. So for these two, I'm actually gonna make sure I keep the name, the style, the number, all that stuff. So hopefully when I am ready to order them, they'll still be around, but these were really awesome shorts. Uh, I'm very impressed. This dress is definitely a no, heading back. And then I have this Z supply dress and I am in love with this dress. It is so comfortable. It is just, I think it's really flattering. I like it a lot and I'm just trying to figure out how I can keep that one. So the tank top for sure. If I keep the Z supply dress, I'm gonna send the kimono back. Um, and I actually, in my other box, I also received a kimono and I don't know if I want to keep both of them. And I think I like the one in the other box just a little better. So I know I'm keeping the top. I'm just deciding if I want to keep the dress or not. Have you ever tried any of the Wannables theme boxes? And if so, what did you think of them? I really enjoyed this patio perfect box. Um, I think it's described as sundresses, hats you could have gotten, everything summer casual. I do like that Wannables is a lot more casual wear than some of the other boxes. Um, and I think their prices are fair. The 
The Black Dress is $69, but it is the supply and it's a really good brand. And I think that could be a dress I would have for five, six years. And it's not gonna go out of style. It's gonna always look nice. And in my experience, Z Supply is really good as far as they don't fade over time, they don't shrink, any of that. Um, they hold up really well. So that is my wantables. And I just wanna say, if you haven't already, I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow. So I just wanna say thank you so much for viewing my channel, taking some time, out of your day to spend with me it really does mean a lot and well guys until next time